So let's take apart one of these Sega Game Gear. So I put up a couple a couple listed that battery compartments are, but I, I uh, it's corroded. So there's two up listed already that I went through that power on, but the screen door. So this screen's not too bad, meaning the outer outer. This one, I'm going by the power adapter. I think I tried it with the battery, but this one I couldn't get to work. So we're getting some screen action here. We're getting a black. I would assume that's some sort of a cap issue or something. But this one I'm not getting any screen. This one. But the outer part of it's not too bad. This one is my gonna be my tester now. Like it kind of works. And I got that super wide, which I really dig. Super wide gear. I've got two of those. So what this is really crappy. This one. So maybe I can switch it. I don't know if I will. I say I'm going to do lots of stuff and I never do before. So this one kind of works. I can test all the games and stuff with it. Eventually I'll get an EverDrive of whatever that game gear. This has a little handle on it too, which is always nice. So that's a little bonus. So that's what I'm hoping. What I'm thinking. And then I have one more after this. Hold on. Alright, so let's take a little look in here. I've never opened it. The reason I was just going to sell them all off, but it didn't seem to work out that way. So we'll do this. We'll keep that little strap thing for that. This one's actually pretty clean. These ones are the cleaner ones. But they still have the same sort of an issue. Looks like I see a game bit. Again, I've never taken one of these apart, so this is my first attempt to look to see what's in there. I see a game bit screen right here, though. I do see that. I can do that. Unless it's a different scene now. So there is a game bit screw. Game bit screw is almost like a like a ratchet screw almost. Like that. So that's that's one little thing there. And then the rest of it looks like if I had the knowledge and the time, I would fix a lot of these things, but you don't. Just for a few minutes. Because the only one is that top, but I bet you have to take it all apart to get to it. Yeah, so game bit looks like one, two, three. It's technically on those two that I just listed. You can get you can get replacement parts, so. First, look inside of one of these that I'm aware of. I don't think I've had a lot of these. They're pretty, they're pretty common. You can put them anywhere, it seems like. Let's see what else needs. Well, let's see, did I miss anything? I must have missed something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see two more. Definitely missed something right here. I figured we'd take one apart. Just take one. Memories that I've never seen inside of a Game Gear, which I have. It looks like. Oh, oh so it's really nothing. Yeah. Actually, pretty. See, I'm the kind of kind of looks around for easy swap parts. So this is easy swap parts, actually. Unless that's connected, which it looks like it is to the board. Bummer. I can see something that's. So I can do. I'm trying to see what I can pull off here. I don't think that pulls off. Yeah, it does. I think it does. No, I don't think it does. It's this side that pulls off. Can I have no? Okay, it's that side. So it's this side that comes off, not that side. Okay. Oh, so these are easy, easy peasy. Oh, now I think about selling them. But now it's just a matter of what doesn't work and what does work. Huh? Interesting. So this is my. 
my bottom piece. Which I have two, like I said, the battery compartment's all crappy. So this would be kind of a replacement. Hmm. I think now I'm gonna sell over here. But what I'm really interested in high voltage Vang Vang Schnarch or whatever that's it. Alright, so let's see volume here. Screen. This gives me the screen. I am gonna go in deep on this one. This one anyway. So they're saying like caps and stuff like like this thing maybe is kind of an issue. That looks kind of weird. But again, there's so many teeny things I wouldn't know. However, I may. That button comes off, it looks like here. I could sell them sections as opposed to selling the whole thing. That's what I might end up doing. Let's see if it's holding this whole thing in here. This is, this is the first time I've ever opened one, so it's new to me. I want to see how complicated it is for what I do. So what I'm saying now, I'm saying screws. Not the screws, just keep unscrewing, don't work out. Anyway. Taking apart, apart the CDX, that's pretty cool. It's a dual layer. Bottom layer is your cartridge, and your top layer is your CD board. This it's just one board it looks like. If we're getting there. Still not seeing the all these screws are gonna come off. I believe. So for an handheld, handheld is actually pretty big, so it's not that hard. Hardest thing ever to repair or try doing anyway. It's those DSs, Nintendo DSs. With that little squirrely little cable with the hinges. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Nintendo Switch Lite, trying to change the buttons on it. That's a nightmare. I did not like doing that at all. I did that once. I'll never do that again. It took forever. And I usually only charge like 20 bucks to do something like that. That was that. It took me hours to do that thing. So this is interesting so far. So your, your best bet, the best thing to do, I really wanted to have fun with you to pull all these off and then just kind of mix match parts. That's my best way I can at least kind of troubleshoot stuff without having electronic knowledge. If you've got more than one, then it's pretty easy. But What else did I miss? I missed some things. I see a switch there. Ooh. I have this to come on nice and easy. Ooh, okay. Now I kind of understand what's going on. Ah, okay. There's your screen. Right, right. Screen. This is my bottom part here. Cool. I'll just, and this can be cleaned. 
that's, that's a speaker. So far, so fun. So I bet you I can test these screens. That's what I was in here for. Well, actually, a few things. This one we said the screen was not coming on. So it seems like it's connected somehow. So if I were to replace the screen, I want to see how I do that. Ooh, I see that's like a solder thingy, so I'd be done. I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, and this is the back. It's like an LED light back here. Huh. That's pretty interesting, actually. I'm glad I opened this. So that's the back light. Interesting. Interesting. So. Let's see if we can do this. Oh man, I want to see if I can turn it on without having all that other nonsense on there. That's the fun stuff. Okay, I can do it without. Hold on. I want to see. We want to separate that between the outer and inner so I don't mess that up. Which I probably will. So let's see what power we got going on here. Uh, the power board's here. Oh, uh, the connector to the power board is here. Here, it looks like this is the power board. Well, let's see if we can get to that. It don't work anyway, I don't know if we can play around with it. Right? So maybe we can get it in there. So I can test them like this, then I can kind of swap things around a little bit. I think anyway, I'm not positive. Might have thrown in it, but I don't think so. Just need to get it in that spot. Back in its little... Let's see. Get it right, right. Yeah, that's right. Do it this way, the other way. Can't quite see it. And then backwards. No, I had to have it the right way. There it goes. No. So what I want to do. Should give me the power button. I don't know what the other side's for. I'll just put that one back on too. It's the speaker, it looks like. I'm not sure what this board is. Let's get this back on. I'm trying to take apart everything I have at least once. So that I kinda know. So I wonder. I may do a whole different way with this. I've got one that kind of works so far. So if we go back to power, which is here. Alright, so there's a screen action going on there. There's the LED light there. So I can kind of see the screen a little bit. So I wonder. There's your backlight. See your backlight there? Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. It's like, a, it's like my, 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 me of a tanning booth. So I bet you there's a better backlight like that. That makes sense. So that's pretty cool though, huh? So that's kind of the inner workings of how it works. That backlight light set up. So maybe some of these, that backlight's not working. Looks like a little fluorescent light of some sort. I don't know how to change this though. That looks like a nightmare because it looks like it's soldered on there. So that's something I could not do. And it probably needs all kinds of stuff around here, too. I don't know. But I wasn't seeing the light before. Hold on a second. Let's go back to that for a second. So on this one. So now I'm really tempted to take them all apart. Because what I want is this. Even that one's kind of crappy, too. 
But I, I know you can get replacements. I don't know how this. I bet you that screen is fine. I bet you it's just the system one that lit up too. I think I have one that doesn't light up somewhere. Yeah, I see it's doing the same thing, but that one looks a lot brighter than the other one did. Hmm. All right, so that's kind of the inner workings a little bit. I don't know that. This button, these are your buttons right here. Buttons here. Cartridge slot would be back there. That's pretty fun. I already got stuff on the screen, which is probably not cool. Should be my finger on there. Uh, made it worse. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. So that's, that's pretty cool. 